Hey everyone, in this video, we look at how we can save and load the Pokemon in our boxes. So I should be able to place the Pokemon in different boxes. And when I save it, all those data should be saved, right? So yeah, let's look at how to implement that. By the way, you can support the making of the series on Patreon and get access to some cool rewards like the complete project files of the series exclusive tutorials and access to the discord community there is even an entire course on patreon that covers the creation of a 3d pokemon game like this so if you ever wanted to learn to create 3d rpgs then check out this course on patreon the first few videos are free to watch if you want to just try it out so right now saving and loading is not working in the game so that's because when we refactored the menu we forgot to call the functions for save and load okay so let's fix that first so from the game menu state from here you can see that we are not calling the save and load functions so if the selection is equal to 2 then we have to call the save function right so we can just call saving system dot instance dot save function and we can just pass a slot over here i'll just call it save slot one okay so similarly if the selection is three then we have to load all right so i'll call the load function and now the saving and loading should work so let's go to unity and try testing it okay so if i just go inside this house and then if i save we should be able to restart the game and load the game from there all right that is working fine and by the way it would be good to have a fade in and fade out when we save and load so let's actually add that pretty quick so I'll do this from a function, from a coroutine. So I'll create a coroutine called save selected. Okay. And from here, first I'll fade in by using our fader. All right. Let's say 0 0.5 seconds. And then I'll save. And then I'll fade out. All right. Let's also create a function for loading. I'll call it load selected. And from here, I'll just call the load function. All right. So now we just have to call that coroutine. So here I'll say start coroutine of save selected and down below i'll say start coroutine dot load selected so now we should also have fade in and fade out when we save and load so let me just test it again i'll just go here and save now if i go out and then load so yeah you can see that we have a fade in and fade out effect for both saving and loading so now let's get into saving and loading the data in our box storage okay so let me open up my box pokemon storage boxes script so here we just have to save this 2d array called boxes right but we don't want to save this entire array we have so many slots in this array, right? We have 16 multiplied by 30 slots, which will be equal to 480 slots. So we don't have to save all those slots. To keep our save file short, we only have to save the slots in which there are Pokemon, right? So we don't have to save the empty slots. So let's go ahead and save that. So I'll make this inherit the I savable interface. And let's implement the capture and restore state functions. 
and by the way we saved the party inside the player save data itself that was because this component is also common to the trainer right but in the case of storage only the player can have storage boxes so we can save it directly from the script all right so first let's define the class for storing the save data so i'll create a new class here called box slot save data i'll add the serializable attribute on top of it to make sure that it can be serialized okay so in this class we need to create variables for the pokemon save data and the index of the box and the slot okay so first let me create pokemon save data i'll just call this pokemon data and then i'll create integers for the index of the box in which that pokemon was stored and also the index of the slot okay and then let's also create another class that will hold a list of slot save data so i'll define another class called box save data let me also make this one serializable and in here we'll just have a list of box slot save data all right so this is how our box data will be saved so now let's go ahead and save the data from the capture state so from here first i'll create an instance of the box save data all right and let me also define the box slots inside it okay so now we have to loop through all the slots of our box and find the slots that has a pokemon in it and add that slot to our box slots list okay so we can use two for loops like this to loop through all our storage slots so let me just copy these two for loops here and in this case we have to check if that slot has a pokemon right so i'll check if it's not equal to null and if it's not null we just have to add that slot to our box slots list okay so first let me create an object of box slot save data okay and in here first we have to assign the pokemon data which we can get from the boxes array all right but this returns a pokemon we have to convert that to pokemon save data so we can do that by calling the get save data function of the pokemon class all right so next we also have to assign the box index and also the slot index okay so now we can add the box slot to our box slots list and at the end we just have to return the save data okay so this will save all the slots in our box in which there is a pokemon okay so next let's load the data so first i'll convert the state into box save data and i'll store it in a variable called save data okay and next before loading the data into our boxes first we have to clear all the data that we currently have in the box all right so we can do that by using two for loops and setting all the slots to not null so let me just copy those two for loops and inside that i'll set all the box slots to null
okay and now we can just load the data to the boxes so for that we can loop through the box slots in our save data all right and we can add that to the boxes array so the box index will be slot dot box index and the slot index will be slot dot slot index and we can get the pokemon from slot dot pokemon data all right so we have to convert the pokemon save data to a pokemon so we can just use new pokemon of pokemon save data all right so that's all we have to do to load the data so let's go to unity and try testing this okay so first let me open up the boxes and put some of our pokemon in the boxes all right and now if i save and if i restart the game and if i open up the boxes the pokemon are not loaded in the box because we didn't load so let's try loading it and then opening up the boxes and yeah now you can see that the pokemon that we transferred into box one was loaded correctly okay we can also try placing pokemon in different boxes so now we have pokemon in both box one and box two so let's try saving it and we should be able to load it once we restart the game okay i'll load it and now if i open the boxes you can see that the data from both box one and box two has been loaded correctly so yeah saving our box data is working fine so i'll stop the video here if you think these videos are helpful please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel that will really help me out so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video